Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to set up dynamic parameters inside of a direct query. And I say direct query because this will only work with a live connection, this will not work with an import. Also, this is set up in using T-SQL data sources, so think uh, MSSQL, perhaps Azure SQL database, Teradata, Oracle, MySQL, PostgreSQL, any of the T-SQL data sources should be able to leverage the dynamic parameters. And to set this up, we're gonna need at least two data sources. One is gonna be your main data source, uh, whether this be a view that you're pulling data from, a table, or maybe some custom query that you've built that you wanna apply dynamic filtering to. And number two, you're gonna need a column of values that are gonna serve as the values for your filter that the end user can select from and then pass those through to your main data source. And that's it, we're just gonna need those, those two things. And you can include a third one because we actually have to create the parameter itself inside of Power BI. And I'll show you how to do all of that. This is just the very basics on how to set up uh, dynamic parameters inside of Direct Query. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. Okay, step one of working with dynamic parameters is you're gonna load your data. So we're gonna load the main data set that we're looking at. Uh, let me remove some things here because I've already done this. Okay, we're gonna load our data. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab it from my uh, SQL source. Remember, we're working with Transact SQL in, for dynamic parameters. So I'm gonna grab it from my server, my database, and you have to, this has to be in direct query. Uh, dynamic parameters does not work with import. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select OK. If you're working with a custom query, you're going to drop it into here, and I'll show you how that works in a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. This should take me to my schema of my database where I can see my views and my tables. And I'm going to pull in this country population table. So this has the top 100 countries by population go ahead and hit OK. This is my main data set. So I want to bring this in and we're ready to go on to the next step. OK, in the next step, you're going to bring in your data source that's going to have the values that you're going to pass to your parameter. So we haven't created the parameter yet, and that's fine. We're going to create it in a, se in a second. But we need some sort of data source that's going to feed values to the parameter. Now, I'm going to use the country as a filter. Remember, this is a basic tutorial, so I, I only care to filter my entire table based on a particular country. So I only want to look at one country at a time. So I need something that has all my countries in a column. So I'm going to essentially do the same thing. I can duplicate this or I can just... Uh, it's up to you. you. If you have the data, you can enter it manually into like a table. I'm just going to bring it in from the exact same place because I know that this column has all the countries that I need to filter. So I'm going to bring this back in, hit OK. So I have my main data source country population and then this is going to be my country values. These are the values I'm going to use for my dynamic parameter. And I'm really only interested in country. I'm going to bring in number because number is going to allow me to sort the countries in the right order. But everything else I can get rid of. Um, I suppose you could bring it in, but there's, there's no need. You don't want to be bringing in extra data that you don't need. So remove those columns. It's okay, so now I have my main data source and my data source that's going to host my values to be used in my dynamic parameter. Okay, and the last thing you're going to want to bring in is your parameter. So we're going to go ahead and create, you can right click and create a new parameter. So remember, I'm going to use country as my parameter. So I'm going to name this my country filter. And let's give it a current value. So let for the moment, let's just hard code uh, India into here. Go ahead and hit OK. So now I have a filter that has India. So now what we got to do is we got to move this filter into our main 
table. Okay, and there's a few ways that we can do that. If you're working with a custom query, I'll show you in a second how to do that. But if you're working with a view or a table that you brought in directly, so here I'm working directly against a table. What uh, a quick shortcut that I'm going to do is I know that I'm going to filter on country. That's where I want to attach my filter. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select this drop down, select a random country, it doesn't really matter which one, or a random value in your data set. Hit OK. What that's going to do if I go into the advanced editor is it's going to enter a row in the M uh, syntax. So in the Power Query syntax, it's going to enter a row. Uh, I randomly selected Belgium, but we're going to replace this value with our filter. So we created our parameter called country filter, right? This right here is this filter here, which we hard coded as India for the moment. So that's all I'm going to do. And what this is going to do is it's going to take our data source and then it's going to filter the rows and only select the rows where country equals our country filter, which is India. So go ahead and hit OK. There we can see that it's filtered it down to India. So now what we've done is we in our power query, we've taken our main table and we've attached a parameter to it. And we've also created a separate table with values that we're going to feed into our parameter. If you're working with a custom query, uh, let me show you right now how you can do the same thing. So go ahead, go back to your SQL server or your, whatever your T-SQL data source is, MySQL or Azure. Uh, go ahead and enter your server. Mine's in a parameter. And then under advanced options, this is where you can enter your custom query. So I'm going to go ahead and hit and just enter select everything from my it's coming from my demo database dbo.countrypopulation I believe is the name of my table. So whatever your custom query is, go ahead and drop it in here. You can leave out the where statement that might have your filter for the moment um, or you can hard code just like we hard coded India just as a as a as a placer, as a placeholder, you can also go ahead and and, ma and manually hard code something into here. So let's just say where country equals China. Okay, there's my custom query. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Okay, it, it's pulling the data from the same table, but only where the country equals China. I'm going to load it. And this one's going to be my custom query example. Okay, so if you're trying to do the same thing that we did up here, but with a custom query, go ahead and go back to the advanced editor. You're going to see your query right here, but it's going to be formatted a little strange. So uh, if you want to, if you have your query copied somewhere, you can go ahead and delete it from here and then repaste it in here. I don't think mine's copied, so I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite it. Select everything from my country population table. where country equals and we had China okay remember this is our and just to prove that it's the same thing right our data hasn't changed so go ahead and copy your your custom query in here and now wherever you're gonna attach the parameter you're gonna go ahead and break that string so I'm gonna break it right here because I need the single quote too and I'm going to right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter the and sign and this is where I'm gonna pass my parameter so country filter and then I gotta close the double quotes in my query or the single quote sorry and I have an extra single quote there so there we go so now what we've done is we've taken our custom query and we have split it so that we have the query text and our filter so select everything from our table where country equals our country filter, which in this case is India. So go ahead and hit done. And there it is. So we've done it in two different ways, right? One is with a custom query. The other is if you're working directly on the view or the table. We did it by filtering down 
uh, right here, okay? So I have my all my data is ready. Now what I got to go do is I got to dynamically bind this parameter to our country values so that we can use a filter to to filter all of this out. Okay, I've loaded all of my data sources into my Power BI uh, desktop and I've created just three little quick visuals just so that we can see which country we're looking at. Remember at the moment we used our parameter and we set it to India. So we're looking at India, we can see the Indian flag, and we have the population in 2020 of India. So now we gotta bind our, our parameter to our country values table, right? This is the table that has just the list of our country names. So in order to do that, and this is, the, this is really the big takeaway of this tutorial, is if you go to the modeling view, here I have my country values, if you click on the column that you want to use as values for your parameter and then you go to your properties pane over here you'll see under the advanced you'll see a bind to parameter now you're going to be able to see this as long as the parameter and the column are the same data type and as long as you're using direct query okay if you don't see this it's probably because you may be using an import or you may be using an integer and trying to attach a value to a string. So just make sure those things are in line. And all you gotta do is click bind to parameter. And remember we created our country filter parameter. So I'm gonna click country filter and that's it. Now this parameter or this, the values inside of our table, anytime we use these on a filter in Power BI, it's going to pass that value to our parameter, which it's going to then filter our table, our main table. So let's go look at that. So I'm going to create a slicer. And remember, in this slicer, I'm going to use my country values. I'm going to bring in my country. It looks like it's auto-selecting it to China, but you'll notice that everything changed. Even though these two tables have no relationship to each other. Our filter is still filtering out our main data because now it's using the dynamic parameter. So now I can click any country and I'll filter my main table. Okay, so just a quick recap of how that works. In my country values, if I select a country, what that's gonna do is it's gonna take that value it's going to pass it into our country filter and then that country filter is going to be used to filter our main table or if you're using a custom query it's going to be used to filter your custom query and that's how dynamic parameters work so now all that's left to do is for me to publish this out into the server once it's out on the power bi server the end user would be able to log in view the dashboard they'll see the slicer that you created, they'll see your visuals, and anytime they click any country value, what they won't know is that on the back end, we're updating the query and we're bringing in fresh new data using that parameter. And that's it, that's the, the very basic tutorial on how to develop dynamic parameters with direct query. I hope you found this useful. If you're looking for a more complex example, maybe you're looking to see how you can pass multiple countries right, to a query, uh, let me know and I'll be sure to follow up with, it, with another video or I'll post some code in the comments. I've also developed dynamic parameters with world level security. That was a pretty advanced topic. So if you've been trying to do that, also let me know. I may have some pointers for you. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you found this useful and I'll catch you guys next time.